so much in this video that you should care about the very well loved MEM programs, the average tuition fee, starting salaries and placement rates. So I have all the data on this piece of paper. I am sitting right here. Do you need a better reason to stay tuned to this video and fall in love with our channel? Absolutely not. So let's go. I am not going to waste your time. It's a short video. Let me jump straight in. Let us start with Duke University. Tuition fee going to range between $66,000 and $68,000. Why I'm giving a range is because it might change year to year, but it should fall within this ballpark. Placement rate as per the most recently reported statistics is at a 90% and median salaries are at $113,000. I'm going to add a bonus stat for each of these universities. How many graduate students got in just last year? It matters a lot to us. It should matter to you a little as well. Duke is 62 students. Yes, 62 students from graduate got in just last year. Next, the college with the highest reported median salaries, Dartmouth College. Before I tell you the salary, let me tell you the fee. The tuition fee can be around $66,000 to $68,000 again. But keep in mind, Dartmouth very often gives you a 40% tuition fee waiver if you do the right steps. What are these right steps? Gradwine knows, so you know who to sign up with. Median salaries have been reported at $126,000. Wow, by the way, with a placement rate of a 98% in the most recently reported data. So how many got into Dartmouth to Gradwine last year? 22. And that is a class that varies between 50 to 60 people, 22 are graduates paying customers. I'm not going to say anything more. Johns Hopkins, and this is a placement rate that will blow your mind. What is better than 98%? Well, 100%. And that is what Johns Hopkins has reported in its most recent data. Placement rate is 100%. What about the salaries? Now, Johns Hopkins gives a range which is pretty wide. Most recently reported data shows median salaries between $90,000 to $140,000. But that's a wide range. I can sort of predict with my experience that you most people would end up between 110 to 115 k some years 117 118 as well. Tuition fees for Johns Hopkins. If you look at the website, you'll see that it's $32,000 per semester and it will take you three semesters to finish the program. So has your heart sunk assuming that you have to spend $96,000 which is 32 into 3? Well, absolutely not. Johns Hopkins offers limited enrollment for the final semester, which means your effective tuition fee will come down to the $70,000 range, which is in line with the other programs. Here's a more impressive number. How many from Gradwine got in? Hold your breath. 52 last year. Yes, 52. So once again, you know who to get in touch with if you want help with these programs. Next, the most useful piece of information in this video. Do you want to interact with candidates from all these universities, understand what their median salaries are, how they got into these top programs and how you should navigate the job search and have a great career? You can sign up for the MEM roundtable for absolutely free, interact with graduates from the top universities and ask your questions. Did I tell you it's absolutely free? You can sign up for this webinar using the link in the description. Don't miss this. As a bonus, I will be curating this session and you can ask me your questions too. Moving on to number four, everybody's darling, Purdue University and all for very good reason. Apart from its quality, Purdue's tuition fee makes it a major, major winner. It's around 43,000 US dollars, which is far lesser than all of the programs that we are discussing in this video. Placement rates are at a 95% and median salaries have been reported most recently at $117,000 per annum on average. But, but, but this is not the only thing that makes Purdue very compelling. Did you know that Purdue offers a co-op, which means you can work while you're studying at the program? Pretty much all Purdue graduates secure a co-op from their second semester onwards, with average co-op salaries being reported around the $80,000 mark all publicly available data. So in terms of return on investment, this is a massive, massive winner. Purdue, the program where you make more money than what you invest in your degree. How many got in from Gradwine? 31 last year. Yes, that's an impressive number, I know. Columbia University, Ivy League, New York City. Fantastic brand, should have great return on investment. But just put your hand on your heart while I reveal the tuition fee. It's going to be $88,000. Yeah, significantly higher than the other schools on the list. Now, the recently reported placement rates are at a 93% with median salaries in the range of $110,000 to $115,000. How many people from Gradwine got in? The number is at 15 last year. Northwestern, the engineering management program for people with quite a bit of work experience. Let's talk about the tuition fee. It is $23,000 per quarter. You will typically need four quarters to finish the program. 
Therefore, we can do some simple math and assume that the tuition fee is going to be $92,000. Well, not really. Northwestern, like Johns Hopkins, offers a part-time enrollment where you can take only one course and the charges for that course, the individual course, is $7,000. Now, I'm going to cut all the complication. Roughly, you can finish your Northwestern Engineering Management program at $75,000 or that range. The complicated tuition fee has been explained. The placement starts are simple. 90% placement rate with a median salary around the $110,000 mark. How many students from Gradwine got into Northwestern just last year? 22. And that's at last typically of 45 to 50. So many numbers. So inspiring. So impressive. But the most impressive one, 98% of Gradwine students get into a top 50 university for their program. Not just MEM, for MS programs across the board. So do reach out to us. Now this is a mic drop moment. But I'm not going to drop the mic because it's expensive. Let me drop the paper. Just not as much impact. If you watched this video until this point, I'm sure you liked it. Why don't you subscribe?